Hello everyone and welcome back to the Chassis Variant Series, myself Critical Rocket, and here we are with the 4L Phoenix Hawk, and we all know what the L stands for, stands for Lau, those sneaky Lau bastards, yes, here we are. Uh, any, basically any mech past a certain point that involves stealth armor that was made by Lau involved uh, using the ECM stealth armor combination to make their mechs more sneaky. Uh, definitely uh, trying to uh, uh, get a reputation here as uh, the backstabbers of the battlefield. And uh, the Phoenix Hawk 4L is a rather nice build. Uh, two ER medium lasers, one in each arm, with a single ER large and a couple of machine guns for close in combat. Uh, it also has, obviously, all the uh, jump jets that accompany this one, and it's uh, a couple of things that had extra, had like a full head ejection system and stuff, obviously not really a factor in MechWarrior Online, uh, but an interesting addition nonetheless, uh, copied from things like the Hatchet Man, for instance, and the Axe Man uh, after that. So, yeah, uh, gave the pilot a better chance of surviving uh, a catastrophic uh, explosion within the mech itself. So, uh, the 4L is... Pretty damn fun, I have to admit. It's not too bad on heat, it's got decent punch at range, and uh, the stealth armor basically allows it to uh, harass people at distance. And I can't remember which one I built this on. Uh, it'll say on the screen, uh, I, this wasn't the 1K, I think this was the one built on the 1B. You can build it, uh, I think it's only the 1B you can build it on, I think it has the right number of hard points. There is another, I think it's the Phoenix Hulk 2 that comes equipped with ECM, or has ECM capability, but I think it's the 1B you have to use uh, to build this particular variant for the machine gun mounts, I think. So, yeah, uh, as a stealth Phoenix Hawk, it's very good. Obviously, uh, whack in a bigger engine and stuff to make up for any of the uh, emptier weight. And you've got yourself a fairly decent high-speed harassment medium. Uh, my plan on this map, uh, and I didn't expect it to work as well as it did, was basically get up somewhere high and use the height to be able to basically stay in stealth and fire down on targets now that you know, you can dissipate heat with your stealth armor active. Previously, you couldn't do that, so you'd have to keep turning it on and off. But you can, with this build, even on a hot map like Tourmaline, uh, you can sit there and fire the single ER large repeatedly without worrying too much about heat buildup uh, becoming a problem for you, which makes it very, very effective. Certain maps that have these uh, spots that allow you to just sit back and hide can be quite effective. Uh, I think I demonstrate that here. It's uh, a damn fine build. Obviously, stealth armor is great as well because you can, you're because of your virtual invisibility to some players. Because if they're not looking at the red boxes or anything in front of them, uh, they won't really react uh, until they finally sort of visually pick you up. I was surprised it took anyone this long to sort of focus me. I was expecting to get an artillery strike or an airstrike dropped on me, something along those lines. But uh, no, nope, I didn't do it. Not for a long time. I only started to take return fire maybe after the fourth or fifth volley. I started. Uh, uh, hitting with them. I was knocking out, as you can see, I was knocking down their UAVs to prevent them from getting any missile locks and uh, getting a uh, look at my team, who, again, I would say carried this fight. You know, I, I was doing the little harassment strategy. I was fully prepared that if the team were going to start to lose quite badly, I was going to drop down and just get involved in the fight anyway, but uh, I've never really tried this before. In all the, all my years of playing Macquarie Online, I've never done this little strat of, like, jumping up here and then just using it to hit things. Uh, and back up, and uh, it works really well uh, with stealth armor, I have to say. Uh, it was uh, really, really effective. I think that was possibly them trying... No, that was them trying to shoot me again there. Uh, so I don't think an airstrike or an artillery strike is ever used on me. It's really, really surprising just how laid back they were. Um, I, I genuinely think I was a big threat, and I may have impacted some of the performance of at least two assault mechs in this fight. Uh, it, it definitely shows that a, a stealth mech in the right location with the weaponry that can reach out and touch them uh, definitely makes for a useful uh, harasser. Not so much a scout, because obviously with your stealth armor on you're not sharing any targeting data, so it's not like uh, I was helping in that regard, unfortunately. But I think that would be a bit too OP. Uh, as compared to the other one I did, the 3M, uh, I actually prefer this model more. Stealth Armor I definitely think gives the Phoenix Hawk a much better longevity in a fight because it allows it to just easily sit back and uh, pick a target and wear it down. Uh, I think this is the Corsair, because I've got like the little uh, preview screen here so this is why sometimes there's I think or I can't quite tell because uh, honestly I'm looking at a, a tiny little screen that's smaller than like a modern uh, smart screen, uh, smartphone screen. Smart scroll screen. <laughs> Word. So yeah, um, it's good though. It's it was really fun. I really enjoyed this match. Uh, uh, each of these matches had something different that happened in them that uh, was, uh, I, I think, 
made it worthy of being uh, recorded in the series. The next one, Solara City, or, well, for me, the next one, that doesn't actually mean that YouTube will put it up in that order. I mentioned that in the previous video in case someone watches that and they don't know. But there's no particular order to these. I will re obviously reference and stuff like that, but it, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Uh, I was on a genuinely worried I was going to be doing a lot more Phoenix Hawk videos, but um, outside of the fact that there are a few too many builds that are just too similar to each other, if if people want to see the other versions, I will certainly have a go at making them if it's possible and recording them, but I don't know if I'll dedicate another week to that. I will probably go to the next mech, which I believe is going to be a clan mech anyway. Um, like I think it's a Shadow Cat next, if there are any builds of that uh, that I haven't done. So... Yeah, uh, but I, I will come back to the Phoenix Hawk at some point if people want to see things like the 3D and the 3K, but honestly, it's just going to be virtually the same build. A lot of these have a similar kind of theme, unfortunately, of like ER large lasers and mediums, because it's a variation on the on the original Phoenix Hawk, I guess. They didn't want to change it up too much. So, I think there's one with a snub nose BPC, but that's it. It just changes the ER for a snub. Not that big a difference, really. So, um,. That was that, and again, I thought I did quite well, uh, for me anyway, so, um, yeah, thanks for watching everybody, hope you have a good week, obviously these are all in uh, 2K now, um, not 4K, just 2K, 1440, I've been recording that, testing it out, so let me know if these videos come out alright for you, uh, or if you just prefer me to go back to the 1080, I uh, don't mind either way, so have a good one all, thanks for watching, bye!